Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a corner mandala shirt. The shirt that I'm going to use is a Gildan Ultra Cotton shirt, but it is a light yellow. The color is actually called Corn Silk. To fold the shirt, I'm going to take one corner of the hem of the shirt and fold it up to the opposite side of the shirt. So I have the hem of the shirt even with the side of the shirt. Then I'm going to grab that corner of the hem and fold it down halfway. Then pinching that main seam, I'm going to grab the shirt and lift it up off of the table. When I do that, it's going to fold the other side of the shirt to match the side that I just folded. The side that's facing me has just got two folds on it. And I'm going to grab from that side and fold the shirt one more time on each side. I'm going to straighten the rest of the shirt and then I'm going to use a washable marker and just make a mark where the sleeves of my shirt are. You can see one hanging out, but I want to make sure I don't take my mandala up past that portion. You can if you'd like to, but it's not the look that I'm going for with this shirt. Also, before I get too far with the tying process, I'm going to use some plastic clothespins just so that I hold all the folds in place. So, as you can tell, I started tying down at the very end of this fold, and the sinew didn't really want to hold to that end partially because it's so small. So sometimes if that happens, I will go a little further up the shirt like I've done this time and begin tying the sinew in that area. Then I'm gonna work the sinew out toward the smaller area. I don't have a particular design that I'm using down in this portion of the mandala. I'm tying the sinew in diagonal lines going out toward the very end or the center of the mandala. When I get down at the very end, I'm going to tie the sinew straight across and then I'm going to begin tying my lines in the opposite direction or the opposite diagonal direction coming back toward the original line that I tied. Basically making crisscrosses in the sinew in this portion of the mandala. So the purpose of using sinew for a shirt like this is that because of the wax coating on the sinew it will not allow the dye to get underneath this area. So everywhere where I've placed a sinew line, underneath that area, the shirt's gonna remain the original color. So in this case, the shirt will remain yellow underneath the sinew line. Now that I'm finished with tying the center portion of the mandala, I'm just gonna kind of wing it from here. I don't really have a specific design that I wanna do. So for the most part, I'm gonna just do diagonal lines on the shirt. So if you'll notice, I'm taking the sinew at a diagonal angle, kind of pinching the shirt to match that sinew, and then tying the shirt. You can do whatever you'd like from here. You can draw specific lines on the shirt that you'd like to fan fold and tie, or you can just kind of do more of an organic, freeform design like I'm doing.
okay, I really don't want to go any further with my tying because then I'll get up into the sleeve, which like I mentioned earlier, I don't want to do. So I'm going to fold the sleeve into the rest of the shirt. Then I'm going to roll this portion up and hold it in place with some rubber bands. I'm not really going to apply the dye to this area. So I just want to kind of keep it out of the way so it's not flopping around. Then I'm going to set the shirt aside and allow it to dry out for a couple of days just so that I can get good color saturation in the middle of my mandala. So since this shirt is already starting out as a light yellow shirt, I want to use some colors that will cover over this yellow and mix well with the yellow color. So in the center portion of the mandala, I'm going to use coral pink and then I've chosen blues and greens for the rest of the shirt. I'm going to ice dye the shirt. So I've placed the shirt on top of a rack and since it's an unusual shape, I'm going to use a little bit of aluminum foil and make myself kind of a little boat underneath the mandala portion of the shirt. This will help keep the dye and the ice on top of the shirt. I'm going to apply the dye starting from the end of the mandala going out toward what is the center of the mandala. I'm using forest green from Dharma, Irish green from Dye Spin, peacock blue from Dharma, new emerald green from Dharma, blue linen from Dye Spin, and then in the very center of the mandala, I'm using coral pink, which is also a Dharma color. Then I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of additional dry soda ash to the top and add a layer of ice. I'm only going to add ice to the portion of the shirt that I have covered in aluminum foil. Remember, I'm not really going to add dye to the rest of the shirt. So after the first layer of ice melted, I came back and added a second layer of ice and allowed it to melt as well. And after the second layer of ice melted, I left the shirt alone and allowed it to process for about 36 hours. You don't necessarily need to leave it that long, but I would leave it at least 24 hours. Okay, so this is what the shirt looks like right before I begin rinsing it. And as you can tell, the dye has wicked up into the rest of the shirt which I really expected to happen because the rest of the shirt was dry. And so it is going to want to wick that dye up into it. So let's go ahead and rinse it and see what it looks like. I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out any of the soda ash that was left in the shirt. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of just continuing to rinse for a long time, I ran some hot water in my utility sink, added a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water, and just allowed the shirt to soak. When the water would cool off, I would change it out and I continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. And after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I really like the way this one turned out. I think it looks really cool. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know I'm not a huge fan of yellow. 
Yellow doesn't look very good on me, so I tend to shy away from it. But I think that the mandala looks really cool on this yellow shirt. I think that the yellow lines inside the mandala add just a little bit of extra interest. For most of the mandala, I got really good color saturation. But right in the center of the mandala, I could have had better. The coral pink didn't cover up all of the yellow. I still have quite a bit of yellow showing. But I think part of that is because I had quite a few sinew lines in this area and they were tied pretty close to each other. So I'm not entirely sure if that's not so much good color saturation as it is just too many sinew lines in one area. I don't think it looks bad though. And I'm really happy with the color saturation throughout the rest of the shirt. I even like the fact that the color bled up out of the mandala area. Which, like I mentioned when I was rinsing it out, that didn't surprise me that it did that. I kind of was expecting it to happen. But it formed kind of a design on the shirt that I wasn't expecting, and I think it looks really cool. It almost looks like feathers or, I don't know, leaves or something coming up out of the top of the mandala. And I think that looks really interesting. I like that. And it almost kind of follows the shape of the mandala. There's one line of color bleed, and then a line of yellow, and then a little bit more color bleed, and then another line of yellow, and then a little bit more color bleed. So it kind of makes a color design all its own, and I don't really mind it. I think it looks cool on this shirt. So the last time I ordered shirts, I bought quite a few colored shirts, and I thought I would see what part of them looked like reverse dyed, and how part of them looked just applying dye over the top. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this one. I think that the blues and the greens look great with the yellow shirt. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.